Hey everyone, it's Tech Dad here, and today we are talking about the best note-taking apps on the iPad Pro in 2025. So there are lots of note-taking apps out there that are available, and I'm just going to cover some of my favorites today. These are the apps that I think are the most useful in my professions, and so I am a project manager, and I do take a lot of notes in that field, but mostly I use my iPad and my Apple Pencil for taking notes in teaching. I need to be able to import PDFs and write on those. I need to be able to project and present very easily. I also need a lot of imagery and shapes because I teach a lot of different subject matters. So I teach adult education, which means I have to cover all the subjects kind of like an elementary teacher does. So we're talking science, social studies, math, and language arts. And so in this video, I really want to cover what makes a good modern note-taking app in 2025. All these apps have been around for a while, and yes, they all have good pencil choices. They all can import PDFs. They all have good file management and other tools like measurement tools. That's all fine and dandy. That stuff's been around for a while, but what really gives the bells and whistles in a 2025 note-taking app. That's what we're going to discuss, so let's get into it. So the first app that I want to talk about is actually the Apple Notes app, which comes pre-installed on the iPad Pro. It also comes installed on all the other Apple products like Macs and iPhones. This makes it really nice because it syncs across all devices, and I really love being able to access my notes from anywhere. And the Apple Notes app has really had a good push forward, especially in the last year since they introduced the M4 iPad Pro and new Apple Pencil Pro. They also released Apple intelligence this year which has really helped take the notes app forward above and beyond other note-taking apps so let's talk about some of my favorite features in Apple notes first of all the autocorrect on your handwriting is absolutely amazing so my handwriting is awful I'm a lefty I just don't write well and my students point this out very often often when I am projecting up on the screen they can't even read my handwriting and so this new feature where Apple notes will automatically correct your handwriting make it look a little smoother and neat orderly that helps a lot and my students have come to appreciate this feature as well. And so you can just write along and as soon as you're done writing a sentence or so, it will auto-correct your writing and just smooth it out. To give it a try, all you have to do is just pull up the pencil tools. There's a little three dots option. You just select that and turn on the auto-refine handwriting feature. And that's a great feature that I really haven't seen in other note-taking apps yet. And so this is just really nice to be able to have my handwriting look just a little bit better. All right, another feature that Apple Notes presents is the new AI features. And with the release of 18 point two man they have come out with this imagery feature where you have this magic wand in Apple notes and you can just wave it type something in and you'll get an image this is super powerful when I'm teaching just about anything instead of trying to sketch something out with my own artistic ability I can just have AI generate it and you get this beautiful drawing that looks sketched it looks hand-drawn and it just fits in the notes app really well and so if I'm going over evaporation and filtration I can just pull up a beaker on a Bunsen burner and then use that as my diagram to explain what evaporation and filtration means. It's very slick. So if you haven't tried that feature, try the magic wand, try typing in images. Remember that you can scroll through your options to see which image is best. AI is a little funky still. Sometimes it can give you some really weird drawings. For example, when I'm trying to teach probability in math, I like to pull up a six-sided gaming die to show what probability means. Well, AI can't seem to get this one right. It shows a die, but it's got like the five side on it more than once, or the dots are just out of place. Sometimes AI can be a little weird. But overall, it's been a pretty good experience so far, and it really helps with my teaching. Now, there is one other downside to Apple Notes that I want to mention, and that's the PDF import. I don't like how Apple Notes does this. It brings it in as an attachment, sort of, kind of like in an email. I really want the PDF to just come in and take up the whole note, and the note is just that piece of paper, and I can just write on it. We're going to talk about that with other apps here in just a minute. But yeah, Apple Notes is a cut above the rest this year. It's really got some new features that other apps apps don't have. Also, Apple Notes is meant to be a little bit more artsy. It's got a little bit more pen options than others. It, it's made to where you can do sketches with a real colored pencil. It's made for more advanced drawing and artistry. All right, let's talk about another one of the apps that I use almost daily. Been using this app for years, and that is Notability. So I paid for this app probably 12 years ago, and I'm still using it. So I've definitely got my money's worth. I think I paid $4.99 at the time. Still a great app in 2025. One of my favorite features about this app is that it has a presenter mode, and it also has a laser pointer tool, so it's great for teaching. So when you connect your iPad to a secondary display or you AirPlay it with Apple TV, the students get a nice, clean presenter view. It takes away all the tools and just shows the piece of paper. I really love that. Something that's also critical is the laser pointer tool. If I'm trying to point something out, but I don't want to write all over the piece of paper, I can just use the laser pointer tool to show students what I'm talking about. Notability has just enough pen features and file management to where it makes it easy to use. I've got all my collections in nice, neat subject 
folders. Something else I like about Notability is the touch controls that you have in the Apple Pencil Pro. So now you can just squeeze the Apple Pencil to immediately go to the eraser. So if you make a mistake, you can quickly erase it. And then when you let go of the squeeze, it immediately goes back to the pencil. That's really nice. So you don't have to keep constantly pulling up the selection tools, grabbing the eraser, erasing, and then going back to your pen. It's really quick and convenient. Notability has some more advanced features. You can get a subscription service to it. These features are okay. I do like that the Apple Notes can automatically calculate math for you. It even recognizes variables if you give values for those. Notability can do this as well, but it costs extra money and I just don't pay the extra money for that. Okay, so the last app I want to talk about is GoodNotes. This is also an extremely popular note-taking app for iPad right now. I think one reason is that it has a freemium version, so it's very similar to Notability as far as I can tell. It has a lot of the same tools, features, but it's free, so you don't have to pay for it. It does have a subscription service as well where you get those premium features. If you want them, there are things like sticky notes and the math feature. If those are important to you, you can pay $10 a year. Again, I don't think I'd pay for those features. I do like the file management system in GoodNotes a little bit better, so you can organize your notes by notebooks, and you can even decorate the front of the notebooks. Just gives a little more personal touch and kind of gives that real-life feel of something you do on a real notebook. Again, GoodNotes has the PDF import feature, very much like Notability. I like that. It has other templates as well. There are these pre-built templates, and so you can get a hold of planners or different kinds of paper, just something to help get you started right away. I like to be able to import these planners and calendar pieces so that I can plan out my classroom activities. So yeah, you should check out the templates, and I think you get more of these templates if you do pay the subscription fee. Okay, so that's my breakdown on the best note-taking apps and features in 2025 on your iPad Pro. Let me know what your favorite note-taking apps are and what you use them for, especially in your professional life. I'd love to hear about that. That's all I got for you. If you like this sort of content, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.